Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Yeah, looking at the bigger picture, we have an ABC structure to the 21 highs. We now have a five wave move down potentially. Yeah, potentially. Certainly doesn't really look good for Gala. And as I explained to you, we have in one scenario, I know, you know, there are charts that start down here. They don't change this where we basically get five waves down, right? So we have five waves down. That's that's fact, you know. Um, besides these startup candles, they are always a bit unreliable anyway. It is it is the setback, the correction here, the move down that typically tells us the truth when we talk about crypto charts. So looking at the long-term view here, yeah, we have a wave one, we have a wave two, we have a wave three. Yeah, and then here, potentially ABC in wave four. So that wave four is actually still unfolding. And then when wave down, yeah, that would be more reliable for five waves down, or we say one, two, three, four, five, and this is already a wave five to the downside. They are both possible. Um, I assume we are already in the fifth wave until the chart shows me <clears throat> that it can still rally. Then I would assume it's uh, first of all a wave four. The reason why I assume we are already in the wave five is because this year is resistance for the wave four, and that's at 5.4 cents. At least it starts at 5.4 cents. And as long as the price uh, reaches such a level, like 38.2 retracement, I can assume a wave four might already be finished. Yes, this looks quite impulsive on the way up. So again, they're both possible. It, it's hard to say which one it is, but it doesn't matter really to know which one it is because we can't know anyway. And the lower time frame setup doesn't really show an upcoming rally anyway. So if there is a rally, I assume it's a C wave of wave four. Until then, the trend is down anyway. So the wave four could have set here and we're coming down in wave five already or the wave four is still unfolding. But then on the lower time frame, the trend is still down. So we focus on the next downside targets and have been for a while now. Yeah, also Gala continues to be in this descending price channel that we've been tracking for many weeks, if not months. Okay, so from that point of view, I can only say the long-term outlook here doesn't look great for Gala and there is in my opinion no long-term uh, bullish outlook especially with the latest low okay now that doesn't mean it couldn't be bullish anymore but it would really need to have a serious turnaround needs to show us a proper impulse needs to show us a break above resistance so we can talk about it but until then I assume this is just a C wave of a wave 4 again we are however getting to a point where a rally even if it's just a corrective rally in a C wave in the blue wave count gets more likely because on the daily chart we talked about that the price is many uh is well, not many is in in um is way oversold basically yeah it's way oversold and another low could potentially lead to a bullish divergence if after the next low we don't see a bullish divergence and it makes another low on the rsi that's not a good sign for gala uh, or at least it's not a good sign for many bulls okay so if we are looking at the subwave structure, price is still hovering above our previous target, basically the 1.55 cent level. Talked about that only yesterday and over the recent weeks, target was reached. It's now hovering above support in some kind of a triangle pattern. We're going to zoom in in a minute. Um, but if we break, if price breaks below the 1.52 cent level, which is uh, another Fibonacci extension level, yeah, then the door opens, the trap door opens to 1.35 cents and then 1.29. These are the next targets. Resistance remains at 1.78 cents. It needs to take, it takes a break above that level to at least consider that the overall downturn is over. Now on the USDT chart, we seem to have a little bit more detail for some reason. So we take a look at that and we see that we're still in this triangle. I think yesterday I suggested to you here, this micro count that it could get another, where's the E-wave, where's, where's it gone? Yeah, that it could get another e-wave to the upside and then it could complete the triangle so this is now where we are i guess over the weekend it could without a problem continue to move in this triangle and then it will be very interesting if it indeed breaks to the downside this is a triangle it looks like it higher lows lower highs a b c d e basically a complete triangle count and a breakdown signal would be uh, 1.55 cents if that breaks to the downside but the 1.52 cent level is another Fibonacci support level. I just explained that. But um, yeah, looks like a bearish pennant. Looks like a textbook bearish pennant. Um, and um, yeah, resistance is well known as well. Not really much more to talk about here about Gala. So I hope you like the update. 
If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.